Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about HTTP session. All HTTP driven applications are stateless. Session provide a way to store information about the user across multiple requests. Laravel provides various drivers like file, cookies, array, redis and database to handle session data. Okay? By default, file driver is used because it is lightweight. Session can be configured using its configuration file. So let's see the session configuration file. So switch to the project and just go inside the config directory. And here you can see the session.php file. Okay. So just open this. And here you can see session related configuration. Okay. Let's see how can we use a uh, session in Laravel 8. So for that, uh, let's create a new controller. Okay, so switch to the command prompt and here I am just going to create a new controller. So just type here php artisan make colon controller and controller name. Let's say controller name is session controller. Okay, now press enter controller created successfully now run the application so just write here php artisan serve okay now switch to the project and just open the session controller so just go inside the app http controllers and here from here just open session controller okay inside this controller just create a function for access the session data Okay, so just create a function here, public function get session data and inside this just write your request dollar request. Okay, and inside this just add the condition here if dollar request session if dollar uh, request has a session okay has name uh, just add the key name so let's say name okay and inside this this writer has okay has name uh, here hatch session method ensure that the past key is available or not okay and inside this if condition just get the session value so just write here echo dollar request arrow session and just get the uh, this key okay name key so just write here get and pass the key name which is name okay this get session method uh, retrieve data from session okay by its key name which is key name is name all right and if session key is not present then just return uh, a message so just write here else echo and just write here simply uh, a message no data in the session okay now save this file and uh, let's create uh, let's create another function here for uh, storing session data so just write here public function and function name let's say function name is store session and session data all right and here just write request dollar request inside this function just write here dollar request arrow session and call here the put function so just write here put provide the key name which is name and add here the value 
okay let's say value is uh, name Jennifer all right and here simply echo data has been added to the session all right Now create another function for deleting session data. So just write here public function and function name. So just write here function name delete session data. All right. And replace dollar request. And inside this function, just write here request. Uh, session and call here forget method okay so let's try it here forget and inside this just pass here the key name okay which is name so just write here name here forget method will remove uh, the session by the key name okay so just put here echo data has been removed from the session all right okay now save this file and let's create the route for these methods so go to the web.php file so just go inside the routes directory and just open web.php and here let's create the route so just write here route get session okay and uh, session slash get okay uh, and add here the controller controller name is session controller so just write here uh, session controller okay and also add here the session controller like this use app http controllers and session controller okay now just add here the colon colon class and uh, here just add the function name which is get session data okay so just copy and paste here also give the name so just write here name uh, session dot get all right now create another route so just write here route get uh, get and uri just add here session set okay add here the controller name which is session controller class function name which is this one a store session data so just write here also give the route name so just write here name session dot store okay and one more route for the delete so just write here route to get session remove okay and uh, add here the controller name which is session session controller okay colon colon class and add here the function name which is delete session data all right and just write here the name session dot delete all right now save this file and let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and now go to the url session slash set okay now press enter 
now you can see the message data has been added to the session okay now get the session data so just write here get and here you can see the session data which is Jennifer okay now let's remove this session data so just call the remove URI and just press enter and you can see here data has been removed from the session all right so in this way you can use HTTP session in Laravel 8 so that's all about form uh, HTTP session so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching